You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 299th episode of Potty Talk Live. That's right, 299. Oh, All right. Hey there. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, mm-hmm. seated beside my co-host, the mm-hmm. lovely Laura, <laughs> where we're talking the business of plumbing. Mm-hmm. And we have a great episode for you tonight. I can't wait to bring on our special guest. Me too. Okay. I know. All right. One of our favorites. One of one of our favorites. <laughs> that's right. All right. You're going to want to stick around. Mm-hmm. You're not going to want to miss this. We're going to be talking about the power of PPC. Yes. We'll be talking with Lindsay Ramsey out of... Kansas City, Kansas Mo. City, Missouri. Um, let's get a peek at um, Lindsay real so you get, quick. Get her there in the yeah, green room. There hey, she Lynn. is. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Hey, All right. Hi, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, Inception Plumbing. All right. Uh, yes. So we'll okay. be talking with her in just a few moments. Okay. What is like to, to be have a her on? PPC. All mm-hmm. right. The brains. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey. In fact, that leads us to. Yes. Um, hey. Um, if yes. you're a uh, oh, better yeah. other, you're Ooh, not going right. to have him miss this. Okay? That's right. Yep. If so you're, I'm going to get that out. Did we get something yep. up there? If we you're can? a PPC, okay, yep. tag okay. your partner right now. All right. Tag your partner. This is definitely mm-hmm. a program that you need to watch. You yes. don't want to miss this episode. Mm-hmm. If you are a PPC, which is a plumbing power couple, means you're working with your better other. Yes. Okay. On mm-hmm. the family business, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. if that's something you've been discussing. Okay. Yes. And you're kind of. You know, what are the pros and cons? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to go through that tonight here. Yes. And if, yeah, especially if you are a a plumber who started his own business and really wants your wife to come on board, this is the show. This is, I've been waiting for this episode and I'm glad that uh, Lindsay has been available here Mm because she's a great example of the lot, lot of the, uh, the brain. We call them the brains. The brains. Okay. The girls are the brains. Guys, I'm just, (laughs) just going to, come on, man. We're just going to get real here. We're we're about being real. All right. Mm -hmm. This is no snowflake zone. Mm. The reality of it is, you know, guys, we're we're great at plumbing. Okay. And we got that thing down. (laughs) Okay. In fact, we're the best. Okay, we're well, the I best. Heard you were the best. I am the best. Okay, okay I'm still the best. Always will be the best. Okay, <laughs> Even but, but when it comes to some other things, okay, years. that is important and vital <laughs> for your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. All right, a lot, we, a lot of times we fall short. Not to mention the energy that it takes to do right. all these things as well. Mm-hmm. So that's the power of a plumbing, of the plumbing power, power couple. couple. Okay. Um, let's see. As long as goes down, we're good. Nice, Patrick. Okay. Oh uh, no, Pat- Patrick. What are you doing? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> it's early there, Patrick. Oh, put down the glass. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So you guys, uh, everybody should know the drill. Um, if you're watching live, type live in the comments right now. If you're Thank watching you. the replay, all right. Type, type replay. replay. And if you're listening to the podcast, mm-hmm. you know what to do. Just keep on keep listening. listening. All Everybody. Right. Okay. Yes. We, we thank you uh, mm-hmm. for all those that are uh, subscribing to the podcast. Mm-hmm. Our podcast is growing. It is. Okay. Pretty exciting. All right. Yes. So, yep. um, yeah. And as a matter of fact, thank you. Sign up for text messages. Um, <laughs> we're, we're starting a different way to, to um, get notified, for people to get notified when we go live. Yeah. Because um, Facebook's just doing weird things right now. Facebook is awfully weird. They're picking winners and losers. Um, so we're, we're kind of bring it, baby. Bring it. <laughs> so we're kind of doing our own thing. So if you want to be um, get a text message every time Potty Talk Live goes live, just type text in the comments and you will get a notification. That's right. That's right. You don't okay. have to worry about Facebook. You never want to miss an episode of Potty Talk no. Live because if you do, what's going to happen? You're going to die. You're going to die. All right. But if you do want to get notifications on Facebook, um, like it says right there, just tap somewhere on your screen and get notified when we go live. But text messaging is is going to be the best way. Yep. In the near future, because who knows if Facebook will be around much longer. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> all right. Who do we have with us tonight here? Yeah. Who's all checking in? Um, and yeah, we'll have to, um, you may have to read them. So yes, there we go. Um, what comments do you have for us, Sparky? I know that Daryl Whitaker, the other better other yes. of Inception Plumbing, um, is, see, see is watching in the DW. And everybody, in the everybody knows DW. He, he can't help it. <laughs> he won't be able to help it. Yeah. Um, also, how's our sound tonight? We made some other adjustments this weekend. Yep. Which is pretty fun. Um, how's our sound sound? You know how like it is when you know. get some new equipment, mm-hmm. whatever it is you little get. Tweak, you, you little tweak, little here, work, gotta little kinda there. Kind of work out the whatevers yeah. and figure things out. That would be nice. We're still in the process of mm-hmm. doing that. Yes. Okay. Um, and he says comments aren't working, though, tonight, Sparky says. Oh. Well, 
So there's always something. Perfect. All right. Okay. Well, I hope we get all this set for our next episode. <gasps> where we're, it's our 300th episode. 300th next Monday. The 300th. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hope we get all these glitches taken care of. We uh, shall. If we don't, it'll Overkill just be... Overkill Sparky. Well, no. <laughs> hey, I think it'll be... I, I think it would be kind of... Um, fitting? Fitting. Oh. Because we, we're going to discuss, we're going to share. We get asked often yes. about, you know, how did you... So, how did you get started? Where did you come from? So, wait, what, started with our plumbing with business. With our plumbing business. Right. right with mm -hmm. the plumbing business. Right. And, you know, what, what, what was your experience? Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, we had ups and mm -hmm. we had downs, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so, and it had to overcome some downs. Mm -hmm. And that's just some... So we, we'll <laughs> just share, a couple we, yeah. downs. We'll share some Other of that. Other than that, it was perfect. It be real. Right? Oh, oh yeah. We had, we had perfection. We had great plumbers. <laughs> we had great customers. Well, we never argued. Who paid on time. Right. We never argued. We never argued. argued. Not once. Never. Mm -hmm. okay. Not once time. <laughs> but so don't, you, you're not going to want to miss, okay, <laughs> right. next week. Yes. 300th episode. 300th okay, episode. Okay, we'll have a good time. Yeah. Okay. Pretty fun. But so, let's get, I've been looking forward. Yes. This is, I've been looking forward to this episode. Of course. And, and this guest. So mm -hmm. let, let's bring our guest on. Let's bring on Lindsay Ramsey. Hey, Linz. Co Hi, guys. Hey, you. Co-owner of Inception Plumbing in Kansas City, Missouri. Hey, Miss Ramsey. Mm -hmm. oh, it's good to see you. Super excited to have Lindsay on. So, Linz, welcome to Potty Talk Live. Good to have you. Now, we've, we have had your, your other on. Mm -hmm. DW. DW. Mm-hmm. All right, and he's uh -huh. a favorite. You know, he's a favorite. I got to be transparent here. Uh, DW and Lindsay mm -hmm. are are part of our um, mastermind group mm -hmm. and part of private clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, and DW and Lindsay um, are both their favorites. Oh yeah, by in, far in yeah. the group. There are yeah, there are right. they're, they're I, favorites within the group. I'm pretty I mean, sure just, sure we say this every time. Right, these are our favorite <laughs> clients. Okay. No, I swear this time. This time right. At this moment. Okay. So we've been working um, with you. You guys for how long Linz? do you remember i think it's been about two years now wow. it seems like the time has just flown by maybe a year and a half to, i said a year and a half the other day and daryl's like no it's been longer than that it's been about yeah. two years but it doesn't wow. seem like two years it yeah, might have been two years time. when we first started mm -hmm. um thinking about it yes <laughs> okay. joining joining the uh the mdp okay. you know brands and when you okay, so let's go back to when you you yep. came on with us, right? It was just Daryl, right? Daryl right. was kind of tell us how Inception Plumbing started, where Daryl was at. What and, was the beginning? Yep. Yes. So Daryl had been working in commercial plumbing for a long time, um, 15, 20 years, and I had been teaching, teaching high school math and coaching high school softball. And um, Daryl just felt like he needed something more. He was looking to grow. And it was, you know, start looking for other shops to try to grow from or start your own. So I encouraged him. We made the decision together to start our own business, obviously knowing that I was teaching and I would be helping out with the business, but it'd be more in the evenings, on the weekends and things like that. Um, and so he made the leap and uh, put in his two weeks notice and just started the business. We thought really long and hard about a, a name that would stand out and be different, something that nobody else had, because we definitely were looking to grow and we wanted something that was unique. And that's when we decided on Inception Plumbing. And so he started, I'd come home, work in the evenings and I work on the weekends and we just kind of started picking up people. Daryl has always been really technology savvy and he knew right away we needed to get on Google. And, um, you know, that's kind of how we got our start. Okay. Yep. Um, oh, now, go ahead. Well, mm -hmm. so that, that's a common story, mm -hmm. you know, us guys, you know, we, we, you know, we start out on our own and we're doing our thing. Now you, you very humbly said you mm -hmm. were a math teacher <laughs> and you, you know, you coach softball, mm -hmm. but I mean, you, you were, you were pretty involved. I mean, you, you had, had position as a teacher. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think she wrote the curriculum wrote for the math curriculum. Yes. Or you're the a district, part, part right? of that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're not well, just one of the coaches, like you're you want like the coach. Mm -hmm. You know, you're you're pretty involved. <laughs> right. Lindsay's okay. very humble. So yeah, you, I was very fortunate to work with some great people to give me some chances to be in leadership roles. Um, I got to be a part of different committees. I got to have a voice in our curriculum writing and kind of drive um, the direction with some other amazing people. So I've been very fortunate to work with some great people that have given me a lot of roles to help me develop. So 
Yes. Yep. yes. So, <laughs> so you were doing your thing. That's right. what I point. So you, a you career. were long, how, right. Yeah. How long were you a teacher? You had a professional career. How long were you a teacher? For? It was almost almost fifteen years. Wow. Okay. So, I, I distinctly remember, you know, talking, having many conversations because we meet right. once a month um, with our clients and having many conversations with Daryl and Lindsay about do you make the jump, right? right. Do you leave a, a solid career? I mean, it's a it's a teaching job, so it's not, you know, just like you were, you know, whatever you had. You went to college for this, right? And so it was a big decision. Kind of talk through that. Yeah, it was it was very scary. Um, so I went I went to college and um, it's actually a funny story. So I went to college just really to play softball and I managed to get a business degree along the way and um, didn't really know what I was going to do. And right about when I graduated, I realized I wanted to coach softball. It's something I started coaching with the local high school as a volunteer that I, the high school that I actually went went to. I started coaching coaching as a volunteer and just really enjoyed it, fell in love with it, loved working with the kids, of course, loved the sport of softball and went back and got my math degree and my teaching degree. And um, so I, I definitely was all in, you know, coaching. I had developed friends. I had been at the school for several, several years. Obviously, it was my alma mater as well, had a lot of relationships, built a lot of um, just get, built a lot of relationships. And it mm -hmm. was a very, very difficult decision for me to make. I, I struggled with it. And, and I talked, you know, with a, a lot of encouragement from you guys, you know, I talked with you guys, and I really gave it a lot of thought. And I knew if, if our business was going to grow, and it was going to get to where we envisioned it to go, I had to make a really difficult choice. And it's definitely a choice that was hard to make, but I know it was the right choice. Mm, definitely. And kind of talk through, okay, what, what, what was the trigger? Right. Yeah. What, what, what was the thing that, that did it? Like a tipping point. Yeah, a tipping when point. When you finally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, there's several things <laughs> kind of building <laughs> up. Um, but, you know, Daryl. Daryl was working hard every night. He'd work long days. You know, I would go coach and I would coach long nights during softball season sometimes. You know, of course I love it, but you don't get home till eight, nine o'clock sometimes. Mm. Daryl's not getting home till eight o'clock at night trying to just do all the jobs by himself. You know, we weren't really able to see each other a lot. We were spending more and more time apart and he was just trying to do everything himself. And I knew you know, <laughs> he was he was answering the phone at this point in time, and the the slim times we got to have together, and really during the summer times, so you know, that's when I was not teaching as much. He'd answer the phone and he'd say, um, two weeks, two weeks. It's going to be two weeks until I can get to you." And I'm like, "Oh my goodness, <laughs> we've got to do something about this." I knew it was time to hire. We had to hire team members to help our vision grow. Um, I needed to be answering the phone and taking some of that burden off of him. And I really just felt like if I didn't make this decision, not just for our business, you know, but also for our relationship, then we were just going to grow further apart and he was going to get further swamped. And uh, I knew that together we would be able to just rally and, and, and we have. Awesome. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah you and, have. Yeah, they have. Most assuredly. Okay. <laughs> and it's so, um, that story, Lindsay, is so common of the relationships. What happens to the guys, they just get buried and buried and buried. And um, they finally, they just get wore out. Um, that's why 95% of all plumbing businesses fail. Mm -hmm. And um, and then also we, we see it, in, honestly, in the relationships too. Definitely. Um, because they're working, trying to make something happen over here. And she's still working over there, and it just pulls in different directions. Absolutely, right. yeah. And yeah, and I, <laughs> well, I remember we're talking with Daryl, and he would say he would be on yeah. the phone with the client or, or a customer would call in or whatever. And he's like, oh, I don't want to do that job. Yeah, that's right. right? <laughs> right. That's right. Which is why you got to get the plumber business yeah. owner off, off the, the phone. phone. <laughs> All right. One of the many reasons. Okay. Hold on, Spark. I, I have to tell Sparky something because oh. I think we, I've got an issue with the comp. Pull up that screen you just had on Sparky real quick. Oh, we're doing some producing We are. Here? We're doing some okay. producing here. See where See, it says guys, title and it says clock? No, nope, go out of this. In, See this where it says title? Doing. There you go. Change that. Try okay. that. 
um, to whatever. There you go. Try that. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Thank you, Lynn, okay. for that pause. So, um, so you made the move. Mm -hmm. Okay. You made the move over. Okay. Let's let's get some dirt. Okay. <gasps> dirt. What what were some of the difficulties <laughs> when you okay you decide you missed you missed being with Daryl. Okay, <laughs> you're long hours away from one another, <laughs> that kind of thing. So you made you made the choice to okay. Now we're going to work together. Mm -hmm. And well, now you're like, why in the world did I want to be with him? <laughs> <laughs> that, what were the difficulties? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you go from hardly spending any time together to spending every single second together. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I took on obviously one of the first things I did was took over the phones and. Uh, started answering the phones for Daryl. And like you said, Laura, Daryl didn't want to go do certain kinds of jobs. He he wanted to kind of pick and choose his jobs. And I was like, we got it. I'm, I'm a, I have always been the person, I'm not a people pleaser, but at the same time I am, you know, I want yeah. to make people, I want to serve people, you know, right. just like, right. I have That's a very, a way to put it. very, yeah, I have a caring, you know, serving nature. That's probably why, I mean, that's why I'm a teacher and a coach. And so people will call in and have problems and I, I couldn't say no. <laughs> I couldn't tell him no. So I'm booking everything. And Daryl's hating his life. He's like, I don't want to go do this. This job isn't going to, you know, pan out. And I'm like, I don't know what jobs to say yes to and what jobs to say no to. I don't know, you know. And so, so we, I'm taking we, them all. We, right. Yeah. I was like, I'm not saying two weeks, you know, I'm just not saying, two weeks. <laughs> you know, so love it. we definitely had a learning curve on that. Um, and so obviously with your guys' coaching and encouragement, um, we got, we got through it. Uh, but that, that was definitely a struggle in the beginning. Getting micromanage one another. He would want to micromanage what I was doing. I would want to know everything about all the jobs and what's going on in every little detail mm -hmm. coming from a classroom i had complete control over my my classrooms again i was very fortunate to be able to you know be involved in the curriculum writing and, and teach what i wanted to teach so i was used to knowing every detail and so that was um a learning curve as well just us not micromanaging each other you know mm -hmm. uh so we learned I wouldn't say we learned early on. It took us a while, <laughs> but we learned to develop roles and respect each other's roles and mm -hmm. trust each other to get those responsibilities and duties done. So it was a learning curve for sure, but um, <laughs> we're, we're not all the way there, but we, we're working on it every day. We're getting better every day. <laughs> That's a good way to put there's it, a lot, There's a lot to that, Lindsay, and thank you for... Uh, being so, you can tell you're a teacher because you you, mm -hmm. you spoke so well on that <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but that that is a difficulty. Mm -hmm. Being a plumbing power couple is so powerful, <laughs> having you work together. But there mm -hmm. is that friction mm -hmm. of learning each other's roles. Mm -hmm. um, I know that. And yes, guys, dear. we need this mm -hmm. um, because we did it, we did this early on in our days. You, you never let me come home. You, oh, you yeah. took every job. Every job. You know, up Every to job. when I had to go, work, you know. Baby new, needs a new pair of shoes, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and stuff. And so it's good to be pushed like that because mm -hmm. I was I was picking jobs, too. Mm -hmm. If I see one more sewage ejector, mm -hmm. I don't care how much money we or make. Or a crawl on. space. Or a crawl space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that kind of stuff. <laughs> you complete Daryl. <laughs> yeah, we do have comments up now, so right. yay. Um, okay. Um, and, and, and that's that's yes. what's needed. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. So what so that's kind of the difficulties. Mm -hmm. What surprised you about um, mm, coming and working question. for your business and, mm -hmm. and working with with Daryl? You know, I would say the thing that surprises me the most and I continue to be surprised by it is how much we've grown and how far we've came just by me making this decision. So I think, Laura, you mentioned or Richard that it was just Daryl in a van by himself before I came on board and he was going to do, he, I mean, he was going to do every job working late nights, working weekends, um, just really, really exhausting himself to do everything. And so as soon as I came on board, the number one thing I focused on was finding team members, uh, to start taking some of the, roles and responsibilities and the work all, all off of Daryl. So that was the main thing I was focusing on is hiring people. And 
I cannot believe the growth that we've had because I've only been on board full time for a year and a half, I would yeah, say. Right. Um, right, yeah. mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, now we have four team members. We have three plumbers. We have a CSR. Um, we're looking for our fifth team member right now. We're looking to hire another plumber, um, making four. And that has, I mean, I, I think about the growth that's happened in a year and a half, and it, it blows my mind. And I just can't believe, I mean, I mean, so many things. And of course, I just, I contribute a lot. I mean, I mean, so much of it, it, it to, to our group you know, being a part of the million dollar plumber group and being pushed forward to make decisions and get uncomfortable. Um, again, the phrase you guys always use, be comfortable being uncomfortable. And I was really uncomfortable. You know, quitting my job was, you know, our only real steady income. It was right. extremely um, scary, yeah. you know, but I'm like, Hey, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and so, I did it. And the, I mean, I, the growth, that's, that's what surprised me the most. And I, I think it's just gonna, I mean, it, as soon as I came on board, we were growing exponentially. It was, yes. it was crazy. That's yeah, why we're were. a big um, mm -hmm. proponent of, mm -hmm. um, you know the husband and wife teams, mm -hmm. um, the couples working together. Yes, because there's just there's just <laughs> nothing stronger than that. Mm. Um, as, as you mentioned, Daryl was in a truck. We all I was in a truck. Mm -hmm. Every usually the case. I'm in a truck, and we usually we're just we're running. You know, like a chicken with our head cut off. Right. You know, working for some contractor. Right. I was gonna and, say we're working you know, for the all, wrong all person. All over the place in mm -hmm. working. You know, and it's not once. You know, once you came on, mm -hmm. that's when we started growing. Right. And it, it's once, not. Yeah, we get serious about it. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we got some energy. You got, we got focus. Just right. like Lindsay, you said mm -hmm. you, you were focusing. You were able to focus on these other things, mm -hmm. um, you know, while Daryl was doing, doing the plumbing work. And we burned the ships. And, and that's the same with, with Daryl and Lindsay, right? Lindsay right. decided, if I'm going, I'm all in, right? Right. There's yep. power in mm -hmm. that. In, yeah. In just, well, actually, listen. Lindsay, what happened? Cause, um, I'm trying to remember when you did decide, um, did you give a notice or you said, <laughs> yeah, what's the story? Yeah. I'm trying to remember exactly yeah. what yeah. happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was difficult to make the decision. I remember making it, I had made it, you know, I, would, I had made it, it was for sure gonna happen. It was just, now I had to tell them. <laughs> it, was that was it. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. I had to tell these people who have, you know, been a part of my life for almost 15 years and yeah. always encouraged me and always, you know, it just really helped me along the way. Mm -hmm. And I had to tell them I was leaving. And I knew, you know, I knew they did not want me to leave and it was going to sure. be really hard. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I would start to go tell, it's like going into the principal's office. <laughs> I would, I would start to go tell them and I just walk by the door. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't go in. <laughs> I just, I did it a few times. And, and finally, I don't remember what happened. Um, something happened. And I was like, okay, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. I just walked in and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm here. Now I have to talk. <laughs> and so then I, I just tell them, you know, just like I told you guys, you know, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to start this business and it's, you know, it's a lot of work and we're trying to, you know, do something here. And, um, of course they're trying to convince me not to, and trying to get me to, Oh, just, you can work half days, just come mm -hmm. in half a day. And I'm like, half a day, <laughs> like, which day, which half do I think the AM or the PM? Either one is good. And so I'm like, I can't, I can't. And so finally, um, they had talked me into taking a sabbatical, which was, is basically, yeah. um, taking a year off. So my job was there for me if I wanted to come back. Mm -hmm. Um, but I learned later that that was just taking the bandaid off as slow as possible because then I had to tell them again, mm -hmm. I'm not coming back after the sabbatical. So <laughs> I wish all I right. would have just burned the shit for real the first time <laughs> because I had to do it all over again, mm -hmm. um, and tell them, you know, I wasn't, I still wasn't able to, to come back. So, yeah, but when the ships realize, are definitely burned now. <laughs> yeah, they are. When did you realize it was the right decision? Do you think? I know that was kind of off the wall question, but I know. Well, I I know that you know I, I was talking to you guys a lot, and um, I just 
started thinking about all the possibilities that what we could be together if I if I really came on and put my efforts and my talents because I've learned so much from teaching and any other any other person out there who's been you know in a career if they've been in a career they have developed skills that they don't realize are going to transfer over to the business and just make it grow Mm. exponentially mm. all of the things I I've done as a teacher have just embedded right into what we do as a business and and I'm sure it's like that with any career um, you just pick up things that you don't realize you know mm. and I, I just knew talking to you guys and really looking inside my heart I knew that if we really wanted to have this business I had to come on full-time and I couldn't be playing this night game of you know, going and teaching until however late and then coming home and working at night and on the weekends. I knew that I wanted more of a freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to put my efforts in this business and watch it grow, but not be worked to death every single day. Mm -hmm. um, Daryl and I really have, you know, the focus of that freedom lifestyle of, yes, you put in your work and you put in your time, but at the same time, you know, you don't have to work every single day, every single hour. Mm -hmm. Um, if, that's if you don't enough. want to, mm -hmm. that's right. Yep. Yeah. And that's, that's part of our thing is teaching freedom lifestyle, right? Right. Um, you don't, you don't want to just own our jobs, we don't want right? our jobs. Mm -hmm. we, we want to create these businesses, mm -hmm. these assets to help, help us support creating the life that we desire. Correct. To, to have, mm -hmm. not not the other way around. Not the other way so, around. So this is good stuff. Hey, mm -hmm. we'll get back to Lindsay here. Mm -hmm. I asked her what uh, what surprised her uh, about uh, coming on board, but I, I have a surprise for you. So I'm going to surprise you, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, I have a, a free gift for you, okay? Check it out, all right? My seven must knows to mm -hmm. be a million-dollar plumber. These are seven things that you got to know, all right? That's why it's called? Must knows, all right? You got to know, okay? I, I guess that wouldn't be, we're talking with a teacher here, it would have been good English for me to say, you gotta know, so gotta. you must know. She's a math teacher, she's not math a teacher. Teacher. Well, she's <laughs> still a teacher, and I always feel a little uncomfortable around teachers, because, anyways, uh, and I did spend a lot of time in the uh, the principal's office. <laughs> so I know what that's a, okay? I know I did. All right, hey, but check it out, all right, it's free for you. The seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber, mm -hmm. simply type seven in the comments, or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash seven, to grab your free copy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's okay. bring Miss Lindsay back on board here. Yeah. All right, Lindsay Ramsey, co-owner mm -hmm. of Inception Plumbing mm -hmm. out of Kansas City, Missouri. Mm -hmm. All right. Sharing. One thing. One thing I want to say too, um, and I think you mentioned it, but also, um, if if the better other, the the typically typically the woman comes um, comes alongside to work for his business. It's not his business. Not his business. It's both of your business. Right. That's yes, kind that of a the thing. We hear a lot of times when, when, when uh, wives and ladies, mm -hmm. normally that's kind of the, what happens. They right. come on board and they feel like, they're well, they're coming on to work for. No, it's, it's, it's both their businesses. Both. Equally. And mm -hmm. I think, Lindsay, mm -hmm. what, what you and, and, and DW, Daryl, we call him infection. DW. DW. I know. Okay. <laughs> all right. Dub. All right. <laughs> That what you guys have done great, and and um, what Daryl's done great as, as, a, as a guy, is is giving um, you know um, respect and mm -hmm. and position, right. and and splitting the a lot of time that's that's difficult with us guys, mm -hmm. you know. Because I know started plumbing, this thing, I right? And we, we see that, right. you know, that that happens. Mm -hmm. But you guys have done very well. Yeah. Uh, who knows? We all had. Well, I know we had our knockdown <laughs> privately. There may be other different kinds of discussions <laughs> as you're figuring out. I'm sure there are. Okay. All right. Scotch mm -hmm. always helped me with mine. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or, or beer. Okay. Yeah. All right. But um, but yeah, Daryl's done a really good job of it's. This is ours. It's ours together. So, right. And. And, Would you and Lindsay? I'm sure that made a difference, right? Um, where you felt like it's is both of yours, not just Daryl's. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Daryl has always thought of this as our business. It's not his business; it's ours. As, as soon as like like when I was working part time in it, like in the evenings, and you know, I, it was ours, but I felt like it was more his. You know, it's more his thing. Um, as soon as I came on full board full-time you know it just it's a hundred percent 50 50 it's our business 
we listen to each other and respect each other's roles. And anytime, you know, one of us gets out of line, um, we, we might fight or we might whatever, but I mean, we just, we just snap right back. We, we have the bigger goal, the bigger vision and, uh, encouraging, encouraging one another and supporting each other's ideas. It really, it really goes a long way. Um, giving each other grace, you know, it's easy yes. to nitpick at one another <laughs> and point out each other's faults, but we're all just trying to do our best and encouraging and giving grace and respecting one another. And, and having that idea that it is 50-50. Mm. And it certainly helps when you write your owner shares and they are literally 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, it does help. <laughs> that, right, right, right. Right. Home that it's 50-50. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Some days right. you're like, no, you take it. No, right. you. <laughs> right. Depends on who calls. Right. <laughs> and what the problem is. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, some of the comments coming up. I am so, um, who was it just posted? Um, Alexander said, if it wasn't for Sandra, I wouldn't have a business. There All it is. Right, good yep. man. Mm -hmm. yep. And you're probably, you're right. Yep. Me neither, brother. Mm -hmm. Me neither. <laughs> All right. Hey, we, we, we need our ladies. That's right. Okay. We need our ladies. Because mm -hmm. right. we're the other half of the brain, right? Typically we're opposite, right? You and Daryl are totally opposite, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Total opposites. Mm -hmm. Total opposites. It's crazy. You know, um, you just got to, you draw on each other's strengths. You really do. Exactly. And I don't, I don't know if it's like that with every couple, but it's, it's crazy. What he's good at, I'm not. And what I'm good at, he's not. So I think that really helps um, when it comes to you know, delegating responsibilities and duties and tasks. And you find what you're good at. You know, you find out what each person is good at and you use those strengths to your advantage. Absolutely. Yep. Um, and would everybody else say that? I would assume so. And I guess most, I think most of our clients would say that, Exactly what Lindy said. You draw it on each other's strengths and what one person's good at, the other not so much. And what do I hear? I talk to a lot of guys, they'll mm. in the comment they're afraid of that. They'll say, Well, she doesn't yes, want Thais. she's different than me. She doesn't like this or mm -hmm. like that's that's what that's makes good. the that's what makes the business strong. Right. You want that. Mm -hmm. Now that causes friction mm -hmm. and as Lindsay is kind of referred to it. You got to find a way. You know, you you, you got to create your roles <laughs> right. and give each other grace. Mm -hmm. That's that's a big word there. Mm -hmm. Giving giving each other grace because mm -hmm. what can happen, guys, is a lot of time we can't talk to to our wives like they're our employees. We have a tendency to <laughs> we do, don't like that know, so do, much, right? That kind of a thing. <laughs> Um, and, and so mm -hmm. we, you got to, got to speak differently. Right. Okay. And then mm -hmm. we got to give them, you know, their, their space. Absolutely. So, yep. But okay. the power yes. in the power, plumbing power couple is that you both have different strengths. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. along, along those lines, what have been the benefits? So Ooh, that's good. Of working together yeah. and, and being a business together. Mm -hmm. What have been some of the benefits? Well, I think one of the best benefits is bringing my dogs to work every day. <laughs> <laughs> Love my dogs coming to work with me every day. Um, the names no. of your dogs are, uh, we got to throw that in. What's your dog's names? What's that? Your dog's names are? Oh, yes. Uh, Daisy and Delilah are uh -huh. boxer babies. <laughs> and uh, so they get to they get to come with us to work. Uh, so that's a, that's a, a, a big perk. You know, Daryl and I, we when we're at the office and you know, if there is tension, you know, we can just reach down and pet our dogs and everything's, <laughs> everything's better. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, but you know, uh, creating something, creating something with your partner is pretty amazing. Uh, looking at how far we've, we've came from where we started is, is really, is something and having, having a team, um, a team that's focused on the same vision and be, being able to give back is a, a huge part, a huge passion of mine, giving to mm -hmm. others and mm -hmm. uh, bringing on team members to help, you know, drive our vision and our, our ideas and build, you know, a company that we can be proud of. It's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. And um, hopefully being able to enrich their lives and, and give, make their lives more full, our, our team members. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a huge benefit, you know, Obviously, teaching, I, I have that passion with, with, you know, teaching kids as well. But I, I bring that same thing to, to our team members, um, really giving to our – Daryl and I, we want to give to our community. We want to give to our team members. And obviously, we want to give to our customers. It's one of our huge whys um, that we have for, you know, for our business. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Could you imagine, Linz, um, ever – um, working for someone else again? 
No, no, <laughs> not at all. Um, it's, I, I, you know, I, it's crazy, you know, and you think things are safe and secure. And then obviously you look at what's happened this year and you know, nothing's safe and secure. You know, I thought my teaching position was safe and secure and it would always be there. And, but obviously right. you look at all the crazy things that have happened this year and the, the jobs aren't safe and secure and really taking control of your own destiny and, you know, forging ahead and you having control over it is, is, is just an amazing feeling. I mean, Daryl and I say all the time, you know, well, what's the worst that can happen? You know, um, we'll just pick, pick it back up and, and build something else or build it better. And knowing that you have control of your destiny is, is just amazing. Mm, freedom. Yes. yes. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Okay. So we want to ask Lynn's well, there's so much there. I, I, mean, I want to go off. Mm. It's the thing I love, you know, guys, mm. if you consider, you know, I hear from guys, oh, I can never work with my wife. I can, oh, I can, yeah. I can never, I can mm -hmm. never do that. Yeah. You are hurting yourself by not being open to working with your wife mm -hmm. or practically begging your wife to come work for mm -hmm. you. Okay. Um, yeah, you're because, hurting your business. It, because it really does. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today without the lovely Laura. Um, DW is probably one of the, the smartest systems guys and he's all, I mean, he, he gets, he, he, he gets his stuff and he's a great plumber. Mm -hmm. Um, saying that he wouldn't be where he is today with, without Lindsay. Mm -hmm. And I know we, we, we got some others on here, mm -hmm. um, that, that yes, we know we could wouldn't be name a few, right. Patrick Basinga. Yes. Patrick, you wouldn't be anywhere. <laughs> Without the the lovely uh, Margaret, that's okay. right. Mm -hmm. um, our ladies are are a blessing, and they were uh, created to be uh, just what we what us guys need. Mm -hmm. Okay, and mm -hmm. it's fun. It really is. Yeah, once you figure some things out. Ro yeah, right, it, Lynn. It is, I mean, you can is. you do. I'm sure you guys have right. more fun than not, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we get to go on lunch lunch dates and um we get to you know maybe work in the office drinking a cup of coffee together before we rush or our home office that mm -hmm. is um from time to time um before we rush into you know you don't have to rush i guess you know yeah. we're not rushing around all the time you mm -hmm. know uh when i was teaching i'd get up i'd get my coffee i'd run out the door um <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. and uh <laughs> one it, one of the benefits is just being able to relax with each other, have a cup of coffee, go in the office, um, maybe go get lunch together. Um, the, I mean, those those things are priceless. Absolutely. Love that. And I can't help but say this, but mm -hmm. it's just it's just hot working with your... Uh, it's hot? It's hot. All right. <laughs> it's, it's pretty it's fun. It's hot, hot working with your wife, mm -hmm. guys. You know, be, go in the battle mm -hmm. with your wife, mm -hmm. okay, with, with your lady. That's right. All right. Then no one else is going to have your back, you know, m more than your queen. Mm -hmm. Um you know, and so it's, it's just great statement. stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Well, Lindsay, I know we're kind of running out of time here. Mm -hmm. We're keeping you on. Appreciate you for being on. Mm -hmm. What, what, final um, parting words? Yeah. What parting words or words of encouragement would you have? I kind of mm -hmm. hit it. I just hit on the guys about working, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the lady. What, what would you have for the ladies? Well, and for, right. um, who are considering right. possibly leaving a job that they, they've been at or right. the, to, to come alongside. They're a professional, mm -hmm. already have a, a career. And considering, you know, jumping in with their, it looks scary. I met when, you know, we had three kids. You mm -hmm. had, you know, it's like you said, you had your own career. You, you were the one paying the bills, really. Right. <laughs> Insurance, know? I'm sure. Yeah. All, all, the, all that right. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then here's your guy, you know, your guy. We were got, paying him at first. Right. <laughs> and do, do I want to go in with this guy? Yeah. That's fairly, you know, he looks. <laughs> well, they've been, to, how long have you guys yeah. been together, Linz? Oh, wow. Um, I think this December, December 20th, is going to be our 23rd anniversary. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So they were 11 when they got together. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, right. okay, so, yeah, speak to those ladies, Lynn, that are making, considering making the jump. Okay, so um, I'm going to see if I can say this right. Um, so we, we ride a GPS every every day, uh, again, off of, you know, Richard and Lord, your guys' advice. GPS basically puts you where where you're trying to go. And um, I started writing this this phrase at the top. And my phrase that I write it, at the top of my GPS is get out of the boat. And so I started mm. writing that. I just happened to 
run across um, a, a little Bible snippet um, that that I had I, I read daily, and it was talking about um, Jesus's disciples, and they were out in the middle of the ocean, and they were in a boat. And uh, Jesus says, come, come to me. Mm. And of course, they're all looking at him like he's crazy. You know, the boat is safe. Mm. And, um, you know, if they get out of the boat, you know, the wind and the waves and everything, you know, they're going to they're going to not survive. Um, but, you know, what Jesus is really saying, I think Peter, one of yes. them gets out and is Peter. able to walk mm -hmm. on water for a mm -hmm. moment until he gets scared and then he kind of falls in. Mm. But what Jesus is really saying is, you know, Come to me, have faith in me, and you will have nothing to fear. Mm -hmm. So my advice is get out of the boat. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, Perfect. Lindsay, that is so powerful. Yes. <laughs> oh. That's our show. That's it. Yeah. That's my drop. Get Lindsay, out of the get boat. Get out of the boat. That's right. And get then, out of the boat. And part of the, the story in, in the Bible um, is that um, when Peter got out, he kept his eyes on Jesus. As on soon, his goal on his goal right to go to jesus right. right and as soon as he took his eyes off that's when he started to sink but he was the only one that had the courage to do it right, right? he had right. to get out of the boat right so so there's few get out of the boat mm -hmm. just do it oh, i man. i say it every i put it i put it every day at my gps and it just helps you to take those risks take those risks that you're scared of as long as you know if you're feeling it in your heart and you know it's the right thing to do Take those risks and, you know, you're never going to see what you can accomplish if you don't get out. Exactly. Lindsay, I love it. That's perfect. So those you are said powerful it perfect. words. Yep. See, that's why mm -hmm. I wanted Lindsay on. Somewhere. I know. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh, love that, Linz. Um, so that I think that's great advice yep. to, to the ladies. Just do it. Just just well, make, the, make talk, the jump. Right, because everything we talk about, I can't I can't help go, go off a little, little bit you? on this. Really? Lindsay brought it up. Blame oh, Lindsay, all right. okay? All right. <laughs> DW and Lindsay, they always do it. They always bring this. Oh, okay? yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's the, you know, we've been conditioned. We, we see it right now happening in our mm. society. We're conditioned with all this fear. Mm -hmm. And just sit back. Just put the mask on and, mm. and be stay in your house and stay, so, you know, don't get together for Christmas because you're all going to die. And mm. then gonna, everybody's going to die. And that's all around us right. all the time. Living in fear. fear Living fear, in fear. fear mm -hmm. All right. So when you do want to step outside the lines a little bit and and work with your you know your your better you know your other mm -hmm. okay and the family business and do something that's outside the lines. No, no. We we, we work at this job. We mm -hmm. do this. Okay. He's doing that little hobby. You know that's gonna whatever. His little cute little business. A cute little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. That kind of a thing. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But but don't. Oh yeah. Stay, yeah. Even. Mm -hmm. Stay where it's you're, safe. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say you're gonna have a lot of people who are telling you, "Don't get out of the boat. Don't get out of the boat." I've had so many friends saying, "Oh, can't you wait until you retire in the next ten oh. years?" And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> what? <laughs> no. You know they they want they want to keep you in the boat with them. You know you got to break yeah. out. Linz, that's so good. You're exactly right. They want they want you to stay on the boat because that's where they feel safe, right? right? Yeah. And so if we're together mm -hmm. here, there's more of us here than if you're staying with me, then we're probably safe because my decision is safe. Right. Right. Because yep. you decide to stay, too. Yep. It's all that. They care for you. Mm -hmm. We see that all the time. The people, yeah. people who care for you. Mm -hmm. and, and, of course, there's others that don't want you, you know, but right. that's not the point. But there are a lot that do care for you and just don't want you to be hurt. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, but get out of the boat. Mm -hmm. Lindsay. Wise that, words. That's yes. a T-shirt. I'm going to put that on. A, get out get of out the, boat. the boat. Get out of the boat. But you're going to have to put. Some, get out that, of the freaking boat. Lindsay's name. You got to give her yeah, credit yeah, or we'll something to, yeah. on it. Okay. And fill it. And a Philly, some right. Philly of oh, Daryl like right. that for right. sure. Right. <laughs> Daryl's right. always looking for a side hustle. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Lynn, hey, thank you so much. Wise yes. words and an encouragement right. too. I know I'm seeing a lot of the comments um, come up. Um, People have goosebumps. They're like, that's exactly it. Get out of the boat. Get out of the so, boat. Love it. All right, Lindsay. Great. Appreciate your time. Thanks so for hanging much. out with yes. us. Yes. Hey, do us a favor. Stick around the green room. Yes. And we'll, we'll close it right. Mm -hmm. So we can yep. talk to you afterwards. All right. Thanks, thank guys. No, right. thank you. Thank you. Lindsay Ramsey, co owner, oh, uh, Inception Plumbing. Out of Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri. Great stuff. I think that's, guys, that's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can live an, an exceptional life and to achieve the things that, that you truly desire for you and your family mm -hmm. 
um, is to get out of the boat. Right. And and I like uh, the attitude, you know, talk about, you know, what's the worst thing going to happen? Mm -hmm. I can always go back and get a job. Mm -hmm. Or you can start something else. You know, start something, right. The right. thing of it is, what mm -hmm. they know now, they yes. could, this could go, uh, any, it ain't, ain't going to go. Right. Yep. But what they're learning right, just Patrick. with business, that they, they'll do other business things mm -hmm. anyways. Right. Like we see that with a, a lot of our clients because mm -hmm. you're an entrepreneur at heart. Right. And so you learn these techniques and the way of looking at things and, mm -hmm. you know, you get some confidence and you wind up doing other stuff right. okay, mm -hmm. as, as well. But, um, but you got to get out of the boat. Got to get out of the boat. And it's, it, it is a great life if you get out of the boat. Mm -hmm. okay? Why not? Why not? Why yeah. not? You only got one life. Exactly. Right? All right. Come on. Okay, do the un. You know, the uncommon. The uncommon. The uncommon. Be yeah. uncommon. All mm -hmm. right. Great. I know one way to be uncommon. All right. Get the you, Success Academy. <laughs> all right. Great transition. I don't know. All if right. That if you're looking to be good. uncommon, you want help getting out of the boat. Okay. A step by step guide mm -hmm. to getting out of the there boat. There we go. All right. And creating the, That's the a plumbing segue. business um, <laughs> that is self sufficient. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Means it can run without you. All mm -hmm. right. So you can do other things. Freedom lifestyle. All right. Freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or, um, you know, and is very profitable. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Business Success Academy. So All right. Everything's in there that you need to know. Okay. And 12 bite sized modules. I cover everything for mm -hmm. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all there for you from discovering your honest hourly rate. Your flat rate, okay, flat mm -hmm. rate pricing, mm -hmm. the right kind of marketing, mm -hmm. okay, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Everything that you need to know to have a successful, self sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business that gets your butt out of out the truck. Out of the truck. Okay, mm -hmm. so get out of the boat. Mm -hmm. And right now you can check out, you can check it out for uh, free. For okay? free. 14 day free trial. Mm -hmm. All right, simply type success in the We're comments. We're practically giving it away. We're giving it away. That's right. <laughs> type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. Mm -hmm. All right, check it out. Yes. There we have it. Great okay. stuff. Love it. Thanks, Lens. Get Appreciate out of the boat. And get next Potty Talk Live, number 300. 300. Mm -hmm. And as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely one of three creators to get out of the boat. <laughs> I'm like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.